time to start an adventure, shall we? It's sort of an adventure anyway. I had one test today at school of a subject I feel I'm the least interested in, and it's kind of a worse subject anyway. Um, I got like around 67% on the test last time, like the first try, I got 63. Second try, 77. So, past that, good day. Um, now, I could go home, just play some games, and just do a lot of schoolwork for the rest of the day. But I decided to go, I was going to Amsterdam because I was close to the central anyway. I'm going to visit a store, just like an old gaming store, and try and find some hidden gems. Which are like old Game Boy Color games, GBA games, N64 games, like some old gems that I really find. Last time I went there, I found the uh, Dungeon Dice Monster for the GBA. That was very interesting. I played for it for a while. It was only 8 euros, it's usually really cheap. A few things quite expensive, but most things are pretty cheap. That should be over there in that small gap between the buildings. And I'm pretty sure really close to that on the right. Oh, yeah. And I'm actually going to go a different way. Actually, go visit someone that I know. So, I, thought, I know I'll pass a really nice like, area. And as you can see, it's really bright and really sunny. And they're not like perfect blue skies, but like, the clouds are looking really good. So I like that. I'm going to take it off and get a lot of weird looks. But today I decided I just don't care. I'm not going to lower my voice to not be heard as much. I'm not going to put my camera down when I'm walking somewhere. Because I feel like, yeah, sure, I'm still sort of, well, not really afraid. Ashamed? Maybe it's ashamed. I'm not really sure, but it's something about vlogging that a lot of people just find weird, which I feel, mm, what was the other word? Um, not ashamed. What's the other word I'm looking for? Embarrassed. I feel like ashamed or embarrassed about. Today, I'm just gonna not care. Take along for the ride, gonna go to a nice area, which is like, there's really, oh, there's a bridge, a long bridge over a big, like, body of water. Like, a big river, I believe it is. No, it's, no, it's actually a canal, like, going into the sea. Because we're not that far from the sea, still a while away, but, you know, I'm gonna take you there. And there, I'll just do a little, outro talk and, and vlog off. Right. And then I'll just take a few pictures there because I feel like making some pictures, I guess that is a possibility what I could do there. But I've had like I could just take a picture that I could use for like a profile picture for Facebook, for Twitter. Not enough for Twitter I'm not gonna change. Because Twitter's like the outgoing three Twitter. I don't have another I don't have like a personal Twitter because I barely use Twitter. Um, Facebook, I do have like an Alcorn or 3 Facebook in my regular, my, like personal one. For a personal one, I've used the same profile picture for like almost a year now. Since so was it last May, like the end of May last year that I like posted my current picture. So it's been there for a while, it's, it's a really good one, I really like it. It's a picture of me with uh, the daughter of a friend of mine. We got along really well, had a really nice picture, and with permission from their girl's mother, Mike, a good friend of mine, I posted it. So that one's up. But I feel that I want a new one. No, no, I don't really feel I need a new one. I f but I feel like things the pictures and it won't work out really well. And I'll just take it. I'll just use it for something. And I otherwise I just may post them on. Facebook, on oh, my personal Facebook, not, not an Alcorn I see one's even there. But on my personal Facebook, that's just some nice pictures that I took. Alright. La 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 la, improvised vlog. There's good and bad things about it. Good things you're gonna get honest reactions and stuff. A lot of things, uh, sometimes a lot of stuff to talk about. And I just see a lot of bikes here and stuff, and there's I don't feel there's a lot to talk about right now. There's water here. Need to make sure I'm walking the correct way because I've not actually gone to this place before. 
should be a body of water there. Yeah, this is looking good. That's a big body of water. That's what I'm looking for. So... Alright, question. Just, uh, just to fill the time, to kill the time, I guess. Out of interest, um, do, you, do you go to school? If so, what kind of school do you go to? And also, if you go to school, besides what school do you go to, I have another question. What do you use to go there? Is the school a few minutes away and do you walk? Uh, is the school a, like a cycling distance? Um, or is it something of do you take the bus, the train, the, the metro, subway? I, right now, I'm studying in Amsterdam, which isn't too far away. I, um... What's it? I forget. The term. Ah, uh, la 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 la... Anyway, I take the... Um, I'm in first year of, out of four. I'm studying to become a primary school teacher. And so far it's going well. I need to find out how to cross the street to build this stuff here. And I don't see like the normal crossing place. So I'm just gonna go here. I don't think I've often been like I've once been in the back and I got I go out the there, walk below there and please took the boat to across there, over there. It's like um the cinema, I believe. We went there once with the school. Yeah. Now to find where I I didn't look this up, I ended up saying on my way to school I was going to go here and it was only like last week that I checked exactly where to go to get here. So I need to figure out how to get there and actually cross the street legally, safely. Because I'm not exactly in the place where I'm always going to be. Lots of wind, so probably when I watch this later, and when you're watching it, you're gonna hear a lot of wind and not so much of me. Sorry, I've just been getting a lot of heavy winds lately. That's what I do about my, my long hair, I've been trying to like, see what I like with long hair. And in a way, it's somewhat annoying, but I just wanna try it, see what I like about long hair in the front, in the back, and the sides. And one of the things I guess I just sort of like, which I also like, I guess, in movies. We have a shot of the character. Is it like in a stare off or something? I think it's sort of see their hair moving a little bit because it might not heavily, but just a little bit. And lately we went during these pretty heavy, they're not like extreme winds or storm winds, but they're heavy. They're heavy winds. So I can feel and sort of see already like my hair. Time. I felt it just a couple days ago when I went to the snack bar to get dinner for the family. This is something, this is something I, I guess. What do you think of this camera? Like, I feel like compared to my last camera, which was a couple of years ago that I last used that, but I feel like I'm holding, I'm completely stretching out my arm right now. I feel it's too zoomed in because you can just see above and below my face right now if I hold it like this. 
and last, I believe, if I like held it like this, I could just see easily above and below with the other camera. This is completely zoomed out. I feel my camera is a bit too, too zoomed in. So, yeah, that, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. I need to figure out where the hell to go. Um, I can see the area where I want to go on my left. It's a bit, uh, bit more behind there. But I have a feeling I can't go over there if I go here because I see a bridge. Uh, I'm gonna go straight here though. Hopefully make it, and otherwise I'll have to walk back a little bit. Oh, uh, that's. stairs over there just to get on top but I feel going this way it gives me a better overview so I I'll go up here already instead of going up there and there. You know what it also like? This is not a planned vlog because this was not a planned trip. My battery is doing really good. It's still in two bars. I expect it to one bar soon. But my battery life is high so I can actually make this vlog. It's how long have we been going? 11 minutes, 37. We're doing good. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. But, yeah, until we reach the bridge, but uh, that'll probably be a couple more minutes. But, yeah. Usually when I try to make these vlogs or something, I forget to charge the camera. Or I'm like, you yeah, know, it's at three bars, it'll be fine. When I underestimate the amount of life left on the camera, it's because then it's like, oh, I, I can't film enough, or I fear that I can't film enough, and therefore I purposely don't film, or don't film as much, because I feel that that way I'll still have something um, I'll still have something in case like some crazy fun comes up. Now that I'm up here, which is good that I have the overview, I'm trying to find said bridge. I still can't find it. I know it's away from the center ramps and I wish they were behind me. this building, I guess, and the bridge is behind that. Some of the ships are there, I do recall that from Google Maps, and I looked it up. I do recall that building over there. Yeah, might as well have the time. Besides the test that I had earlier today, I have the entire day off, so. by that. At the time, parents won't be worried that I'm home too late or anything like that, because I'm not sure if my mom is even home. But Jim and Dad's at work. I'm not even home, but she's not really worried. She knows that I'll let her know if something really crazy comes up or I'm staying really late. But if I'm like half an hour late, then she's not usually not worried. Unless we like specify you have to be home at by one in the afternoon. And if I'm not home by 1.15, then that's probably not a train that was slow. So then she'll start to worry. But since it's just yeah the test at school starts at 11.30, um yeah see you later. Uh, good luck. It's not really bad. If I take like multiple hours after the test has started and then not even be home at that time, then probably she'll be worried. Well. Now, I do not have my mobile phone with me on right now. Should have decided for whatever reason not to. I barely ever need it. But I really only take it with me in case of an emergency. 
issues. And that's not happening. One time I did have a lot of uh, problems with the train. I made a vlog about that now. Like, like bus this, bus that. And like the trains were on base, just didn't go. It was annoying. But I had to deal with it, unfortunately. But that I wanted to call home then for someone to pick me up, but I wasn't able. That was possible because my brother was the only one. I was able to borrow someone else's mobile phone to call though. It was very nice of that man. Um, you know, I, well, I just don't have it with me. Normally I do. In case of emergencies, sometimes I'll still play Pokemon Crystal on my phone. I don't play too much at the moment anymore. I have multiple games that I play that I sort of want to finish. There's multiple games that I have finished before that I should be playing, such as um, Metabots right now and the Pokemon Crystal on my phone. There's other games that I still haven't finished. Bravely Default, near, I'm near the end, Final Fantasy IV, near the end. Um, what else? South Park Stick of Truth, still not past the final tutorial battle. I'll restart that to make sure I actually remember how to play the game. It won't cost me a lot of time since it's only tutorial battles anyway. Stop the winds now. Um, what else? Uh, Hyrule Warriors. And there was one more game. Oh, uh, Kirby Superstar. No. The Kirby 3DS game. The new Kirby 3DS game. I don't remember what well, that one was called. I didn't enjoy it as much as I expected it to. So that's probably the last of those games that I'll complete. But who knows, I'll see. And then soon there's going to be a lot more games coming out. This is Mewtwo, because I like have registered both Smash 3 days and Smash Wii U before March 31st. I'm going to get Mewtwo for, as a free download for Smash in two weeks. There's going to be a free Pokemon game in like three weeks. The um, new Rumble, Pokemon Rumble game. Although it's a free-to-play game and there's certain in-game things you can purchase with real life money. I feel like it'll be too much like... Crush. Like, I know we have Pokemon Shuffle now, which is pretty much Candy Crush with Pokemon. And I never played Candy Crush. I see my dad play it. I could see why it's addicting in a way. Never decided to play it because I feel it was just going to be addicting and annoying. So I very early recognized that Pokemon Shuffle was just like that. So I didn't. But buy that either. I'm afraid. I want to play the new Pokemon Rumble. It does look interesting. It does say they have over 700 Pokemon, which will mean almost all to all of them. Like the first through six generations. That is good. That is exciting. But if it's too much a pay to play game, then I'm not going to get that either. So it's really just research, I guess, in the upcoming weeks. Maybe new info being revealed about it. I won't be getting, up, getting it upon release, that's for sure. Just so I can look at some videos from others, get some more information regarding how much you can actually play without paying real life money. Because if I feel that's enough, then I'll get it, because after all it's a free to play game. The unfortunate thing is, it is on 3DS, and my 3DS memory is really low, so I'll probably have to delete a few things to actually download the game. So that'll be another reason why I won't get it. So, you know. So in the end, probably because of the memory and the chance that it's too much for me to pay to play, I will not be getting that game. Other games I'm looking forward to the new Fire Emblem game that was announced in Nintendo Direct yesterday. Looked very interesting. I may just get that. It'll be my second Fire Emblem game after Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, which, by the way, I didn't buy. I just got it free as, the, as part of the 3DS Ambassador program. Enjoyed it. Never fully really completed it, but I enjoyed it. I may just get the new fire emblem, that's very interesting. But like, it's like two split paths and how this is going to work, two separate games, one single game. I'm not really sure yet. I honestly hope it's just one single game, you can just choose different paths. We'll see. Um, Puzzle and Dragons Z, Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Edition. 
I'm gonna get that. It looks like a puzzle game that I'll enjoy. Um, that'll be good to. Where the hell is that bridge? I still haven't found it. It shouldn't be too long, otherwise, I'm just messing up. Otherwise, I'm going back. And then I'm gonna go home, look on Google Maps, and realize I should have walked the other way. Or I should have walked like 100 more meters to like, get there and stuff, but we'll see. I'll walk for a little more. Um, yeah, plus it looks very interesting. Um, the story and the way you can like evolve, the story already looks sort of interesting. We didn't know a lot about Puzzle and Dragon Z, at least I didn't. So this, the new information about that from the Nintendo Direct from yesterday was was good. It shows some like evolution and some enhancements of like some of the characters, some of the dragons. Like, they gave an example with the dragon and how it can evolve. That looked cool, that looked interesting, I want to try it out. And then the Super Mario Bros. Edition, which comes in a freaking same package, for not even a, that bad of a price. It gets both games in one, one cartridge for like, for the year 30 or 40 euros, even even 40 it's still pretty good, because usually games are like 45, 50 euros these days. So to get like a double game for 40, is good. So I'm definitely gonna get that game, it's like in three weeks that that's released. And also, something I found very interesting also, besides, like the Mewtwo and the Lucas announcement, in fact, there's actually gonna be more DLC for Smash Brothers. Um, something I found interesting is where sometimes like, yeah, we thank you for your patience, and then it's like delayed for another month. That doesn't happen a lot with Nintendo, only a few times. But what I found interesting, Mario Kart DLC Pack 2, the Animal Crossing Pack, was supposed to... Wait, wait. What is this? This is interesting. It could be Thomas, but uh, good. This is like a place where they do stuff. I guess. That's YouTubers. I recognize them. Anyway, where's that? Yeah, Puzzle Dragons. Super Mario Bros. Edition looks really cool. The functions, the upgrading, like Goomba plus Super Mario equals Paragoomba. Um, red Paratrooper plus Cheap Cheap equals Red Paratrooper plus Cheap Cheap, where they just hold on to each other and make a new character. Or, yeah. That's really what it is. I think this is the bridge. This does look like what I am looking for. I think I have to go to the other end though. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah, that's definitely the bridge. I don't know if this is actually working. Go yet? I don't know why not. So this has to be the right bridge. Go, 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 go. Get in there. My back is really heavy. There's a lot more stuff in there than what is needed. But I just didn't feel like taking anything out today. I just like to, this morning. I just wanted to um, study. Study final bits for my test, and it worked out. 77%. So, for a, a subject I feel, felt I was bad at, I'm very satisfied, very, very satisfied that I made it. Right, let's see. Is this indeed the major is one further?
the sun is now being blocked off of the top, damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures here and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.